Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Carolina Panthers. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. started now the kicker Chris Boswell and off we go from uptown Charlotte and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. We see Carolina's offense getting set for their first possession here and at quarterback his second season with the Panthers Sam Darnold and the thing with Sam Darnold is we know the skill set is there may not be the most mobile or strongest arm quarterback in the league but usually plays with really good poise and at his best like a point guard in basketball able to move around and distribute the rock First play and a first pass coming for Darnold. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good, and once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. From the 31, Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making a tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Back to throw, Darnold looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Going for it all. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, 
incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. <laughs> Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. And they snap him short of the first, as he can only get to the 20. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Eddie Pinheiro on now. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. This one taken just inside the 10. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Pittsburgh's offense making its way out and we get a look at the player drafted to succeed Ben Roethlisberger as the franchise's quarterback. Knows a lot about the city. He's a rookie out of Pitt. Kenny Pickett. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level and made him a first round pick in the NFL. He's a type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Pickett now on first down. Pass complete, George Pickens with it. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's the leading rusher amongst rookies last season, Najee Harris. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Pickett. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sims. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down.
They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Open man here is Gentry. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there. Kind of played into their hands. So Pickett is off to the sideline, and Chris Boswell is on for the Steeler field goal try. Boswell's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. possession each team with a field goal as the kick is away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal posts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. They'll run with Foreman. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. First carry for the Oklahoma State man, Chuba Hubbard. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. These two teams all tied after one. First down, Darnold. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it, maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Darnold. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Now Darnold. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep is Gunnar Olszewski.
It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. To the air on first down with Pickett. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Pick it'll look to throw it here. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. The picket finding Johnson there. First down, Steelers. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Pick it to throw on first down. Again, it's Johnson. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the ten. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. First and 10, here's Pickett. Setting up the screen, Harris. And in for the Steelers, touchdown! Najee Harris, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers have moved out in front. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. To throw is Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He decided to run a hit route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and three. Here's Darnold. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. First down now, but that clock rolling. Darnold from the gun. Buying time to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, and turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Darnold. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Darnold down to throw. Thomas brings it in. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And a big 32-yard play on third. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Again, Darnold. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. the 17 here's second and four now it's Darnold he'll get this complete to the running back Hubbard and he'll be out of bounds taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12 a gain of five good enough for the first down but they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half they must have seen something in the scouting that said hey we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. 
down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. He'll drop to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll set up a throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Ian Thomas from six yards away. And the Panthers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. as the kicks away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. On first and 10, it's Pickett. Quick completion here to Johnson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Looking to throw, pick it. Over the middle, complete. It's Johnson. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Pickett. Steps away to his left. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. Boswell's kick is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10.
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Taken from about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. shot before the break Darnold he's gonna float this over the middle deep and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in so we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report coach Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter from the six and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter and Charles they've got the lead put your coaching hat on here now what's the game plan for the second half I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Back to throw, pick it. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Three yards there to begin the third quarter. They also lead by three points. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, this is Harris. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now pick it. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football open to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their minds. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. Watch the back, watch the back. 
After the interception, here's Darnold. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Back to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And the Steelers are going to get the football back at their own 17. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 17-yard line. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Finds Pickens out right. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Pick it now from the gun here. Finding Harris over the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit Corey Littleton blowing that play up. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Oh, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay, so when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they've got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player putting stats in every column. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Pick it. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. The Steelers send out their punter now. 
As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Panthers about ready to take over. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Darnold and the Panthers now with a first and 10 here at their own 22. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The result only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up on a second and six. Back to throw, Darnold. His throw incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Now back to throw, and Thomas has it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Complete to Deontay Foreman at running back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 more there and another first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. A carry for Foreman. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They run again with Foreman. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Looking to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead.
Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 28 yard line. Harris will start the drive out. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. Finding Johnson on the out route, that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now here's another carry for Harris. And some room to work. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Harris. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we'll get near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. The bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 43 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And the knee is taken for the Steelers out of the victory formation. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. 
don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, this is one of those games where if you win it, it feels extra special. But to lose a close one like this, Charles, remember where they didn't score any points in the second half, that has to sting a bit more. Absolutely, and I really think that they're going to spend so much time pouring over this game film, trying to figure out where their calls went wrong, how they didn't execute on certain plays. They were so close. Yeah, this one's going to linger for a little while as they try and diagnose this loss. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.